In the previous chapters, we've discussed topics such as training our developers, giving them architectural guidance, giving them standard security requirements frameworks, giving them specification of languages and frameworks they should use, and so on. Now, given all of that, the coding aspect itself is outside the scope for SAM. So there is no practice in SAM that says code securely. Because the expectations about methods and quality of coding come in mostly in governance and design business functions. So in implementation business function, we jump from design past coding into running builds. Three security practice in this business function are as follows. The secured build that focuses on the security of the build process. Similar to that, secure deployment that focuses on the security of the deployment process. And finally, defect management that targets to have a systematic and consistent approach to tracking defects. 